Hello YouTube friends, thanks so much for joining my Dan Computer Training channel. We're so pleased that you join us to learn something very beautiful when it comes to computer. So if you have not subscribed to my Dan Computer Training channel, please just feel free to do so to learn and benefit yourself. In today's tutorial, our attention will be focusing on how to burn a video into this disc. Okay, this is a DVD disc. How can you burn a video MP4 video file? So let's learn what to do. In order to do this, the two key things you need are shown here. One, you need DVD flex, also the burner. Now, now these two software are the ones you need in order to carry out this task. So how do we do it? First, you can download this. Feel free to download, they are all free. In order to do that, make sure that you download these two software. Okay, DVD flex and this uh, is Ubrenner. After downloading, kindly open the DVD flex. Let me get one of the videos on my system to burn. Alright, you could decide how many of these videos you want to burn. Is it only one or all of them? If all of them, you check their capacities. If they are within the capacity of the DVD, DVDs are often 4.7 gig. Alright, so you could burn as much as it can carry in this particular DVD. But if it's not, just focus on the ones that can carry in a disc. Or, or you can compress the DVD. All right, all right. I'm going to burn only this. So you can just pick the video, drag it up. What happened? It's it's loaded to here. All right. So you need to come here. Okay. Do you see project settings? Project setting. Click on it. Under project setting, you will need to title this. All right. Under the title, give a name. Let's um. What is this video? What is this video all about? Um, let me see. Uh, two and six. All right. I'm copying this because I may, I will need it again. You can see it's already showing the capacity of this. There are so many different capacity, but this 4.3 is actually good for us because it ties the much likely the limit of our DVD. All right. You can check through all these. All these. You can leave them uh, on default. Okay, if you like, you can increase this um, track count to six. Okay, then come down to the last one, burning. Under burning, click this second one, burn project to disk, in order for it to allow you burn into disk. Under the label, you can give that same name again. After giving the name again to this, you can decide either to okay to choose six. Or you can leave it at four or about that. It's no problem. Okay. After that, you have to decide. Like in this one, what is a eject tray when done? Well, if you feel like you can just click that. After that, come to the bottom, click on that accept. Now you are done with project setting. Come to the next one. Menu settings. Under menu setting, you could choose any of these. In my own case, uh, which one do I love? Okay, I will live with this one. I will just accept. That is all about that. Okay. The next one is to create DVD. Create DVD. You come here, click. It will show you this warning. It's actually not error warning. All you need to do, just say yes. Preparing it now. When it's done preparing, I will get back. Okay, so it has come to a point where it will like to start burning. Okay, you are at liberty to decide either to place this DVD at the onset before you start all those processes or you place it at this point. So I've decided to place it at this point. I've opened my DVD drive. If you uh, if you heard a little extra sound at the background, know that is because the DVD is burning. So bear with us. After placing that, automatically it will start reading and start burning on its own you do not need to click anything it will start burning as you can see on my screen the process is on trying to burn them into the dvd so we can see that it's not difficult to do this it's actually a process that anybody can do get those two softwares because they are free both the dvd flick and image burn you can get it to free and uh, be able to burn at this. Well, I will be back after it has done burning. At this point, the DVD will have finished burning. So just click on close. Okay, now let's get out the disk. 
So this is how you burn MP4 videos into our CD. So remember, bless. I'm happy to see you in our next tutorial. Please, if you have not subscribed, I want to hear the sound of subscribe button. Just click it there at the bottom. Thanks so much. See you then.